Now I'd like to tie for you a mallard and yellow dry fly. This is to imitate the light Cahill. I have a really yellow light Cahill on my home water and they're very large. The hook I have on the vise is a curved shank. This is a size 12 and I'm going to use golden yellow thread. This is an 8 aught. Going to start the thread behind the eye. Going to take it back halfway. And I'm going to bring it forward half of that. And we're going to start out with a pair of lemon mallard flank. I have two of them. And I trimmed off everything that I won't be using. I'm going to put them together. And I'm going to tie them in on top. Line up the tips. Give it a couple of loose loops and pull them to size. And then we want them about the length of the hook shank. Going to secure them. And I'm going to trim this off at an angle and wrap that down the rest of the way and bring my thread back forward. Now I'm going to take the mallard flank and I'm going to divide them. Kind of pull one feather off to one side and one feather off to the opposite. There we go. I'm going to give them a figure eight. Man, you want them wide when you're done. Now we're going to take yellow poly yarn right there in back of that first wing and we're going to tie these with the figure eight also I'm going to take the mallard and the poly yarn and I'm going to pull that up to stand them up better. I'm going to cut them to size. And shape them. I'm going to take the thread back toward, towards the tail. And I'm going to take a piece of stretch cord that I colored tan. I'm going to catch that in. I'm 
And I'm going to stretch it and bring it back. And I'm going to take yellow microfibits. And we want these to be just about the length of the body. And then we can adjust them. Remove the excess and secure that. And I'm going to stop before I get to the tail once again. I'm going to take pale yellow super fine dubbing. Dub a nice tight noodle. Make it nice and tapered. And we're going to start off by going back. You could even take the dubbing and put the dubbing underneath the tail and that will hold it up much better and wrap your body and I need a little bit more the light Cahills come mid-June in mid-June, I have a light Cahill hatch on my river, and they are big, and they are yellow. Very distinct wings. That's why the mallard. Yeah, we're going to wrap that right up to the wing. Now we're going to take that stretch cord and I'm going to stretch it and I'm going to wrap a rib, stretch it and it will change the color slightly. Give nice distinct segments. I'm stretching this as far as I can stretch it. And I'm going to tie that off there. Keep that thread tight. Keep that stretch cord tight. And you can put a couple of wraps in front of that stretch cord. and remove it. Now for the hackle, I have a very light tan CDC. I'm going to tie that in by the tip. Trim away the excess. I'm going to secure that. Tidy up that head.
I'm going to wrap the CDC wrap it closely in back wrap it close and tight in the front And I'm going to tie that off there. Put a couple of wraps in front to lock it in. Move my thread back to the wing and I'm going to take a little bit more of the yellow, the pale yellow dubbing. Hold everything out of the way. in front give it a whip finish Put a little cement on the head. And here we have our mallard in yellow, like Cahill. Hope that you learned something from this video. Hope you would subscribe to my channel. Please leave comments, questions, suggestions, refer me to your friends. And most of all, I thank you very much for watching my videos.